Okay, good morning. My name is Brian Howell and I'm the PR over St. Peter's GA Club here in Dunboyne. And this is a typical Sunday morning here in Dunboyne, an absolute hive of activity. I'm delighted to be joined by Sean Murphy, who runs our academy down here and has been doing so for the last 18 years. Sean, tell us a little bit what happens here on a Sunday morning. Yeah, good morning, Brian. Yeah, this is the, our typical academy morning. Um, run this uh, from 10 o'clock to 11 a.m. Uh, we have roughly a mixture of boys and girls, mostly boys, now, to be honest, um, and we cover age groups eight, four to eight year olds. Um, we break them into age four, age five, age six, age seven, and, and age eight. Um, we cover football and hurling, and uh, the basics, you know, for that, that age group. Um, cover um, small, uh, small kicking, hand passing, soloing, bouncing, um, and. Um, the kids really seem to enjoy it, you know, and for, for the small age group we, we, we mix a little bit of agility and balance and coordination, so we concentrate on ABCs and then we develop in more of the sport specific skills like that, you know. Fantastic. And how have you seen this part of the club develop over the years, Sean? Yeah, well, it's, it, it's, it's been immense, Brian, to be honest. We started off really football only nursery and then we developed into the dual nursery football and hurling and that, that has been a real uh, bonus and, and an asset for the club because we introduce kids that um, to hurling at a very young age and they get used to hurling at a young age sure. and it has helped our numbers um, through the age groups then you know at you know at 9 10 11 and 12 now more and more kids are playing the hurling and the football so that's been the real asset of having the dual nursery so you've seen some change uh, Sean Tom's field originally down here to our home ground yeah. now we've castle pitches you've castle seen a lot, of I, 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 a lot of development and that's been great for the club and now we've got yeah. the hurling wall as well Fantastic. and towards the end of the season we use the hurling wall for the kids as well and we concentrate on skills on left foot right foot left hand right hand so it's really good it gives the opportunity to concentrate on skills development as well as playing small matches you know?